Welcome to SDN Tech Forum. In this DNA series of video, I'm going to walk you through one of the key feature, key but simple feature, te uh, template editor within DNA Center. This feature we use to configure our devices, whatever configuration or intent you cannot express with DNA Center. That means any corner case scenario, any compliance config you would like to push, you can use this powerful tool. So let me show you where it is. Click on the tool button, template editor. By default, you have the onboarding configuration project created. That means it's a, it is a day zero config, like what you want to push with PNP. We don't want to push any day zero config. We want to push a day end config. So I have created a project called NetFlow config. So you can create your project by just clicking on that create project. So I have created a project NetFlow config, and then I have created a template under it, which is edge one NetFlow. So I, what I want to do, I want to push the NetFlow config on my devices. So here is my config editor. And as the term says, config editor, that means it is a configure. It is by default in configuration prompt. That's why you can see that I'm not putting any configuration config T before I enter all the command. So if you put config T, your uh, template is going to fail. Another thing to note is you can use power of uh, programming or variable. So you can see that interface 10 gigi 111 one one and i am putting a variable dollar interface and this dollar is a variable so template editor comes with a, a programming inbuilt which is called velocity uh, look for velocity and it will tell you how that language works so once you have uh, given the commands here you can go to action save it and then commit it so Commit when you commit, that means it is ready to push to devices and it create a versioning. Version 7 created. If I click on show history, I'm going to see the latest version is version 7 and this is the config it is going to push. Creating the conf uh, template editor alone is not enough, so you need to tie this with your network profile. Network profile is part of design on the net profile. I have created a, a profile just for this. It's a switching profile. So if you want to create a profile, you go to here, select switching, name it. So I have already created a edge one NetFlow switching profile and call the template under it. Just, just what we created, you can call the template under it. So I'm creating for 9300 devices. This is my NetFlow and this is my template name. So device tag, if you, you have to create a device tag, so that you can bind it with the device. So I have created a NetFlow device here, tag here. Now let's go back to provision. The device I want to configure is H2. Let me tag the device, NetFlow, apply. And now we can simply say provision, provision the device. It's already assigned to the site. Advanced configuration, select your device and I want to apply it on 10 gigi 111. So my last octet is one. I'm putting it here one. Next, you can see advanced configuration template is applied. I'm going to say deploy, apply. So provisioning started. If you want to Check the real time status. You can go to devices provisioning and you can see it's configuring. See details. Deploy network intent is not started. So you can watch the progress here as it progresses. Let's go back again. Still configuring. Success, success. What I would like to see is, you can see that all the details, config summary, general config management, everything is pushed. And let's 
look at the real device itself. This is our intended device. Show run int t So right now it's configuring, that's why all these logs. So once you do provision, it actually pushes all the provisioning command again. And this is kind of fully loaded box. I'm running application visibility and everything here. That's why. You can say flow monitor is applied. That means we have show run flow records, monitors, and exporters. So my NetFlow config is applied via DNAC template. One more thing what I would like to show you about a little bit about uh, template editor itself. Since it is uh, powered with velocity pro uh, programming language, how you can check if your prog uh, variable and all those things are correct. So this is, if you look at the uh, input form, this is my variable. And it says that this is a required. I can define all the, my variables here. And if you want to simulate, you can actually simulate your, uh, so I'm going to say show run, give it a, some simulation name, test interface one run the simulation and you can actually see the config what it will generate while pushing it to the device so this is how template editor works very powerful and simple tool thank you